Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and welcome to this new video and your daily update on Arbitrum. Uh, we'll talk about Arbitrum again. We have been very, very bullish since, uh, well, since last, well, last night, actually. This is the one hour time frame, so it looks like it's long ago, but not too long ago. So we have been very bullish. Wanted to talk about that. I'll tell you what I expect. We talked about this yesterday as well. So this is really just like an update. Um, but that's what we'll do in this video. We'll briefly take a look at some fundamentals. Then we also have some more time. We can see what the price does uh, and uh, and then we'll get into the technicals. Now, before we get into the whole Arbitrum analysis, though, if you want to see the if, if you want to receive daily trading signals, check out the links down in the description or the pinned comment. And there you'll find instructions on how to join and how to get those profitable signals. Uh, but now on to Arbitrum. So, as I said, to start off with fundamentals, which is something I, I like to do sometimes, um, uh, you can see right now daily active addresses and daily transactions on Arbitrum has 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 gone up a lot, uh, which actually is great. I mean, this is really ecosystem use. Total value locked has dropped down a, a little bit, but it's still very high uh, altogether. Um, and that's also one of the main reasons why I think Arbitrum is bullish like this. I mean, initially, this whole bullish momentum perhaps started um with the ethereum shanghai upgrade right so that was uh, thursday so then after that we got some sort of a relief rally uh, because we didn't get that sell-off so uh, optimism and arbitrum and ethereum uh, all became very very bullish uh, but altogether usually what you see is that a token off of the caliber of, of arbitrum i mean right now it has a 2.2 billion market cap i would say it it, it, it should have an even higher uh, uh, market cap than this I think it's worth more. Uh, if you take a look at the volume it's handling and the statistics we just took a look at, I just think it's it's undervalued still at this point of time. Um, so usually that's also what you saw, for example, with Optos, even though perhaps that was a bit manipulated. After a while, these huge new cryptos just get some sort of a rally. And I think that's happening with Arbitrum now. Um, now we do have to get one more kind of confirmation for that, because what we what we talked about yesterday, to do a quick recap, is I said, well, if we are able to stay on top of 1.6 until the update tomorrow, which we have been able to do, uh, or tomorrow morning, I said, then uh, we will be able to get up to 1.75 and break above that, which we just did. Uh, that whole 1.72, 1.75 dollar level is our main resistance level. We broke above that. Now the only thing we have to do is kind of get some sort of confirmation. Um, and with confirmation, I mean that we can get some sort of a break read or at least confirm the breakout. That is not a fake out. So what's happening now is that we'll <clears throat> drop down to that level. Uh, we're finding some support at the 236 FIP now, um, but we'll drop down to 1.75, 1.72. Um, if we can then find support there and hold it for like one candle on the four hour time frame, then it's, um, I think it's confirmed and I think we'll get up to our next resistance level around 1.9. Um, and then from there we'll see again. I mean, after 1.9, the obvious price target is $2 and 2.05, but 1.09 has the 2.618 uh, FIP there, uh, which usually is uh, is pretty strong. So we'll, we'll have to see. I really think uh, per perhaps we should drag this level up to like 1.9, 1.95. Uh, I think that's uh, I think that's a more accurate price target. I think we're going to get there. I think that's the most likely scenario. But uh, if for some reason we are not able to find support at around 1.72, which could happen, then we'll just take that break retest and we'll uh, we'll drop back down to 1.6. And from there we'll see again. Obviously, it's not what I expect, but I'll keep you updated on Arbitrum either way. So for now, this is my take. This is my analysis. But um, yeah, I'll see you again tomorrow. So thank you for watching. Uh, take care today and bye.